All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first product that I am gonna use is my favorite, which is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. And this is actually in the flavor macadamia and rice milk. I'm telling y'all, this stuff right here is everything. If you have an opportunity to go get it, I'm telling you ladies, this will change your life. I actually got the idea to use the exfoliant on my underarms from another content creator's YouTube video. And to be totally completely honest with you, it made my underarms so soft. Here I am using the same scrub and I am scrubbing thighs, legs, all the way down to my feet. What I really like about this body scrub is that you really don't need a whole lot of it in order for it to spread across your body. For the most part, you get a pretty good amount in the jar. And even though I had to use somewhat of a generous amount, mainly because I'm pregnant and I had to cover my stomach and all that other stuff, this pretty much provided me with just the amount I needed in order to be able to cover my body. As y'all can see, I am really working this product in. I mean, I really have to do what I have to do to make sure I get the most out of my product. As you can see, I was missing a few spots, so my husband was kind enough to uh, lend me a helping hand. It's now time for me to rinse off my scrub and get ready to follow up with my Dove body wash. I'm getting ready to put on my favorite body wash, which is the Dove Sensitive Skin Hypoallergenic Body Wash. This is, like I said before, my favorite body wash currently. What I really like about this body wash is that, of course, it's made for those with sensitive skin. The scent is not too overpowering. And this might be a little bit of TMI, but this is really great, ladies, for usage downstairs because it's so light in terms of the scent that it actually doesn't disturb the downstairs area. Or at least that's my experience. Furthermore, using the body wash immediately after my body scrub is a lot better because it actually provides a lot more of a smooth and supple feel to my skin than if I just used the body scrub by itself. Off camera, I did use the feminine body wash that I received from Dollar Tree. And here, I'm just setting up my space so that way I can get ready to do a scrub for my feet. Now the product that I'm using here is from a passion party that I went to a few years ago. So it's not a product that you can find readily available in the stores, but it was something that I initially started using on my hands and when I realized just how well it worked on the feet, I decided to keep the product and use it only for my feet from then on out. Usually after I do a really good scrub, I'll work with a deep moisturizer, sort of like the Dove Intensive Care Moisturizer, and I will add that to my feet if I really just want to feel extra special. Here I am cleaning my face, just getting ready to put on my facial moisturizer. Now because I'm pregnant, I'm not able to use any specific um, facial products that have medication in them so with that um, I'm just basically able to clean my face and then just add a little bit of the clean and clear facial moisturizer so that's pretty much the extent of my facial care routine at least until after I have the baby As you guys may have seen from some of my previous videos, these are staple items that I use in my self-care routine on a nightly basis. 
So if you've not had an opportunity to look at any of my previous videos, make sure that you watch them as soon as you're done watching this. That way you can get all the info and all the goods that I use in my self-care routine. Surely a self-care routine is not complete without the smell goods. And in this case, my Dove deodorant and my Bath & Body Works collection is my go-to when it comes to smelling good. So I have my Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion that is not scented that I use on a daily basis. And I have my collection of Bath & Body Works perfumes that I pretty much just choose any scent from, just depending on how fancy I want to be for the day. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up my shower hygiene routine products and tips video. If you did find this video useful, please do me a huge favor and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to like the video, leave me a thoughtful comment underneath, and if you got some other friends that could use this information, feel free to share the video. I want to thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.